I'm Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I focus on celiac disease. A recent paper from Latin America, specifically from Buenos Aires, reported um, that five patients who were planned to have more uh, surgery for morbid obesity, so bariatric procedures to help them lose weight, were discovered to have celiac disease. And in these patients, the authors discovered this during an endoscopy done preparatory to their surgery. Three of these five patients, the authors t uh, tell us that they changed their plan for their surgery to do one that was essentially restrictive, um, rather than do doing a malabsorptive procedure. Now, why is this report of interest? Well, first of all, we think of celiac disease as a malabsorptive disease, meaning that you don't absorb your nutrients appropriately. And that's because of damage in the intestine. Now we think, one would think logically, that that could result in loss of weight. How could somebody with this disorder end up morbidly obese? Well, it could be that in patients with celiac disease, there's a selective malabsorption. Our small intestine is over 25 feet long, and celiac disease can affect as little as one or two percent of that. If that happens, it means that we have a tremendous ability to compensate. And even though the patient with celiac disease may still malabsorb certain things like iron and zinc, for example, their body can compensate for the calories that they would not absorb in the upper part of the small intestine. And often it may be that these deficiencies, like iron, for example, can make the patient or drive them to overeat. Their body is basically searching for that nutrient that is missing or deficient. In overeating, they get too many calories and of course then they gain too much weight. In studies that we've performed here um, in Olmsted County surrounding the Mayo Clinic, we found that a significant percentage of people with celiac disease are overweight or even obese. Perhaps not as much as the general population, but still 10% of patients with celiac disease are, more, are obese at the time of diagnosis. So it's important when one is seeing a patient for consideration of bariatric surgery, or even any patient is, who is obese, that does not mean that celiac disease is impossible. In fact, it may not be much less common in those patients than it is in the general population, which we now know to be 1% of Caucasians. Well, what if you find celiac disease in a place, in a person with morbid obesity, where you're planning on doing a surgery to help them lose weight? Well, first I would check for any deficiencies. Is there an iron or a B12 or a, or a folate or a zinc deficiency that needs replacing? Secondly, consider, as these investigators did, doing a what's called a restrictive procedure. That is a procedure that reduces the capacity of the stomach so the patient can't eat so much at one time. And that's very different from the malabsorptive procedures the so-called Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, for example, would be the most common version of a malabsorptive procedure. In that case, you're bypassing some of the intestine in order to reduce the ability to absorb. And it may be that in patients with celiac disease who already have a malabsorptive disorder, that it might not be a good idea to add a malabsorptive surgery in addition to that.